Aries, how are you? Welcome to the Goddess channel, my babies. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, liking, the love, and the comments. The shares, purchases, donations are truly appreciated, all my babies. Even the participation, that's my baby. The views going up. I love you guys so much. This is your 1111 Twin Flame reading for 2018. Yes, my darlings. Check the description. See which type of reading you would like. Use the cash app and the PayPal accordingly. Also, the email is in the description below. We can get your readings done, my babies. I'm doing the special 1111 Twin Flame Journey reading for $11 for a limited time. Get it in, my babies. Let's see what we have for you. This is for the Aries dealing with air signs. First. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see no conflict, my babies. Beautiful. But not going forward, communicating in the right direction, right? But building. How is that, right? Goodness. Rendering karma. Yep, that seven came up for me. Seven of Hearts. Bottom of the deck. So they are getting on this road. Completing this mission with you, okay? Very passionate and thinking about how to do things. Just probably a little confused because they are F fine. So they have to think a little bit more logical before they move. So they're at a pause, not going forward, okay? Like I'm making up excuses, but no. They're rendering this karma, learning how to build and who to build with. They're Aries, uh-huh. Bottom of the deck. Yes, they're learning. Getting on that road, thinking about it. It's about time, right? Yes, just the two of you guys keep coming out. Yes, my lovies. Um, I'm hearing that they probably need a lot of support from you. That's what I'm hearing, right? Because they have this decision to make about collaborating with you. So they need the support from your end. So yes, this is our collaboration. I'm here for you. And then it'll make that decision sway a little easier. It's like they're counting on you. Goodness. Yeah, I read all the emperors, leaders, empress, and um, emperors. Empress is what? Libra. So, oh, F sign. So, the point is, it's still a leading. See, Empress, she sits down in the chair giving birth to situations, honey. The emperor, he don't give birth, he actually leads. Right? The whole situation that the Empress gives birth to. So, Aries are the leaders and somehow it's just showing up all throughout the reading. How they want this back. Backing from you, Aries. Reassurance. Uh-huh. They need to see. I guess that's why my eyelash is just like all in my way. Right? Confirmation, something like this. Uh huh. They just probably don't watch as many videos or haven't met the goddess yet. The 305 goddess. Uh huh. Nice to meet you guys. I appreciate you. I love you. They love you too. They're just going through this. 
you can't go forward until you know what you're going forward to. For real, for real. Mm-hmm. You can't take another step forward until you know for sure. So you know for sure. Uh-huh. Where you are going. How I want to say that. Until you know for sure where to go. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. So, well, the emperor is showing up. Bottom of the deck. Very passionate, honey. Very, very passionate. Very so. It's the wands. Can't get away from it. Trying to tell the story, honey. It won't even come out. Bottom of the deck. Nine of wands reverse. Guard all the way down. They just need you, right? Woo! Need. N-E-E-D. I'm reading it, but lovers. Um, it's still anticipating to get finalized, right? So, their passion is kind of flipped off. And they need the strength to hold on tight to this collaboration, honey, because it's happening. You just need to know that it is, and it's meant to be for a reason, right? So, they are acceptable to a lot of them. That's why their guard is down, but they just don't know. So, yeah. So, if they go forward at the time, things probably won't be building how they should be, and it'll crumble. Mm-hmm. That's just what the cards say. And um, they wouldn't be passionate about it. Wouldn't want to work on it. Wouldn't want to think about it. Especially the loss. And um, don't have a decision to make because it is what it is. And it's just not a collaboration. Whatever I built just messed up anyway. And um, now the lovers can come into place. They'll recognize, well, damn... How I was building with the Aries, you know, especially if it came to any different type of energies coming between you two. It was a joke, right? That Although that's not coming out, the point is, how I built it was just going to fall. And now, I understand that. And I, I have passion for them. I love them and I have passion for them. And I don't need the strength. I understand that whatever collaborations I come through, it'll be basically with the Aries. It's not a collaboration that I have to work hard for. It's more like I can collaborate with this, but watch out for anybody else I collaborate with because I'm trying to work on this love and build this and go forward with the Aries. It's like them remembering all the collaborations, whoever they collaborated with just did not work out, honey. It just really didn't because now they see conflict, right? They don't know what this is. It's conflict to them. And also, since it's conflict, they don't want to get on this road with you because they don't even know what the hell it is. They ain't even think about it. They don't even want to, actually, right? They denied the thinking about it once they didn't want to work on it anymore. So, yeah, you, this tear still got to come up. Like, are you sure you don't want to work on it or think about it? And then that guard is going to be up, like, because they have to. Mm-hmm. So they rendering this karma on knowing you got to work and fight with somebody, honey, and think about who. Yep. Your Aries. Can't build anything else that's successful with anyone else. Not your soulmates. 
Bottom of the deck, three of diamonds, my lovies. Four are earth signs showing up. Capricorn, um, Taurus, and Virgos. Did I say for the um, Libras, Gemini, Aquarius, air signs? Yep, those was done. Now we're on to the earth signs. We see earth signs not looking at it for what it is, but they are going to enjoy their wish fulfillment. They're in there, honey. They don't even care what it is. If they, it feels good to them. Great to them, right? Mm-hmm. Bottom of the deck, not even heartbroken. A lot of them coming up out of this heartbroken, not really caring. Just you make them feel so good. They'll go ahead and give some love to you. Yeah. They want to give love to you specifically, honey. Yes, and have this celebration with you, Aries. Great, right? And fight for this relationship through thick and thin with you. Fight through life. They, whatever they used to fight for in their past, they don't see it worth, you are worth fighting for. <laughs> Anything with you, Aries, is worth fighting for. Anything in their past, they looking back like, what the hell was I even doing? Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with this wish fulfillment. Yes, honey. Oh, Jesus, this is wonderful, Aries. This is a lot of tension here. Bottom of the deck. And they not looking at it for what it is, honey. They don't even care, I'm telling you. Seven of diamonds, seven of pentacles, both of them reverse. They don't even care. It's like, you could take advantage of me, baby. I'll still be here, honey. You are a blessing from the Lord. They take that leap of faith. That is beautiful. They're taking a leap of faith with you, Aris, okay? This wish fulfillment just keeps showing up. This is double time on everything. This is some beautiful shit, Aris. Seven, twice, nine, which, see, they, they don't care. That's why it keeps showing up as them not looking at it for what it is. Because they don't give a damn what it is. They got a wish fulfillment right here. As long as it feel good, I'm good. See, these um earth signs, they go for the goodies. And it's not, it, yeah, goodies, it got to do with pinnacles, energy, um the small thing. It's just anything that's great, anything that's good. If it feel good, let's go. See, hmm. especially with the Aries, yes. And they, even though they're feeling backstabbed, like I said, a lot of them coming from worse situations in the past, honey. They are willing to understand and not be tormented about your situation. Wow, that's beautiful. So they are really transitioning from, you know what? I didn't know if life was going to be all that great, but now I see something way different. Fuck it. I'm going to just go with this. Because earth signs are used to being down to earth. Like, they don't really... It's not a dreamy feeling. Like, a, um, they probably imagine Prince Charming, but honey, that's probably the basics of the base. They keep it down to earth. We're not... Okay, Prince Charming not going to really come in on the horse with the mansion back at, with the yellow brick road. Like, they not even going to really go that far. An air sign might. That's why they have to learn on how to build and who to build with. Um, earth signs, they keep it way down to earth and say, okay. Even if they think of that, it's not more, they won't expose that more than they expose, okay. It's just a regular person. Okay, he cute. She cute. You know. Yeah, all right. Okay, don't get too beyond yourself. That's how they are, right? So they very happy, okay? So let's flip it. If they looked at it for what it is, honey, they'll be like, this is not a wish fulfillment. Right? Because now they won't be grateful. This all? This is the best you can do? Some shit like that. And they don't want to get love to you. And they'll probably never find love to give no one else to. I mean, no what? No love to give to anyone else. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and they won't fight for anything in life and won't take this leap of faith ever. Seeming like just won't ever have a wish fulfillment in life and be not fighting with their own backstab because they didn't. They looked at it for what it is and didn't like it, right? And now they're being tormented like, why didn't I like it probably? Why wasn't I just grateful and thankful for everything that the universe has blessed me with? 
And um, I feel like they're rendering karma beautiful. Some of them are already rendered karma and they're coming into that wish fulfillment and thanking the grace of God. So it's like, this is not a collaboration. I'm heartbroken about it. I'm not even happy. I don't want to celebrate all them threes. I didn't even notice it on the other side because it was so much. And um, and see, this is no third parties at all. This is a third party and I celebrate it maybe. But on the other side, um, it's not, right? So this side, they'll be looking at it for what it is because on this side with third parties, they have to be with someone else. But on the reality side, that's interesting. When you look at it, when they're not looking at it for what it is, it's no third parties. They're just trying to get to the money and be happy and not have no heartbreaks. That's beauty freaking full. So you have a blind earth sign. They're blind to the fact that you are their happiness. I'm going to just keep it real. That that's the reality of it. They don't even care. They just know you feel good. It's just like 10, 20, 30 years down the line. They be like, damn, we still together. So I'm I'm just glad I, you know, that the universe blessed me. I, I didn't even look at I didn't even think we'll be Yeah, they they the ones that probably won't even think y'all be, be together for life. But they're not worried about that. They don't even care about that. They just like, thank you. But I don't care if this lasts one day or one year or one lifetime. This shit is beautiful. That's what they saying. So let's move on to the water signs. Goodness, Aries. Woo, we almost got real deep, huh? Yes. Swimming in this deep. They love you, my babies. They see this opportunity. They want it. These water signs being loved. Straight off back. I almost thought we were talking about water signs with the earth signs. But water signs are Scorpios. Cancers and Pisces. They want this opportunity. They want it bad. They want to be like the earth signs, all love and deep. I'm hearing. Yes, they trying to get on this road saying, hold on, let me make up my mind about this Aries. This is not a wish fulfillment for me. And I see this opportunity. What's going on, honey? Guess what? Look at their ass. They'll rather fight for you they not even be around this wish fulfillment, right? They they sitting in this water with you. This is a wavy ass water, wavy ass predicament. This took a real turn real quick for the water signs, huh, Aries? But yeah, um, with them, they want this opportunity and they see it. Honestly, it's right here on the board. They are in the past trying to wrap up how much love they had for. The past, whatever is back there, honey. People, places, and things. Right? Them water signs are just too lovely. But, um... Yeah. Let's see. So, they're not having much of a wish fulfillment. I think their karma is turning their greatness around. Just be grateful. That's it. Bottom of the deck. They don't have a clarification. And there's a lot of nasty stuff going on because they're just not being grateful. Now, that's some real stuff. So, let me see. But they looking at it for what it is. So, it's only a third party energy. Energy. So, this came out either first or last. But the point is, they are looking at it for what it is, right? So, they know they need to put a death to some things. Especially them Scorpios coming out in that water. Because they know they can't get this Aries with feeling like this and looking in the past. Like, the situation cannot take place for the future because the present is not being unwrapped because of the fucking past, right? Third-party energy. So, even if this wanted to come out last, it's like, they know, well, maybe, I don't know. Some people need to put a death to some shit, right? Start it off like that. Death needs to come because the Aries... Basically, is upside down, out of his seat, trying to stand up. The emperor is just is not being happy. That's probably why they don't have a wish fulfillment either, right? And mm -hmm. they not looking at it. I mean, and they looking at it for what it is. Hmm. So the point is, They know some things need to be put to dead because the relationship is upside down with things being with third party energy. 
they know that. They know. Somehow they know. Them water signs being in love, it's like, I know I don't love the past, but am I sure about the future? Am I supposed to love that too? Yep. Just let go of the past. Somehow like that. Because if they don't take this opportunity that's right there, honey, it's just going to vanish somehow. And they'll get a wish fulfillment. All right. Mm-hmm. No longer had an opportunity to have their wish fulfillment and be fighting for everything they truly want in life and thinking about what the hell happened. And see that things are either dead or can't they can't put shit to dead, especially not you, right? Because you're standing right there waiting for them to come up out of this dead position and come back to this wish fulfillment somehow. But they're not looking at it for what it is on that side and see that I don't have any love because I don't know how to think about or what to think about. But we can move out of this storm and it's no nasty stuff happening though. So yeah, they're rendering karma with this nasty stuff happening because just them the, the simple thing of them looking in the past, honey, is some nasty energy. First of all, what the hell is back there? Nothing. Nothing at all. So what the hell is you doing, right? Mm-hmm. For those messing with your fire signs, honey, Aries. Bottom of the deck. Sagittarius. Aries and Leo. Three of diamonds. Oh, they want this collaboration. I don't know if that some of them kidding themselves on how things how bright things can be, but let's go in, honey. They want to give love to you. But they got to figure out if they're going to hold on tight and let go. Yep. Karma being rendered around this time. For them fire signs. They want this collaboration. But now you're trying to figure out if you're going to hold on tight and let go. Is this the collaboration? See, it's funny. They're not speaking up straight out on you guys. On, on all my other ones, they came out straight for it. Here they are. Secondly, right? So they are moving forward, coming forward, because they want it, right? But they need to know a little bit more, because it's not an easy victory for them. It's not, for no one, right? Not relationships, not real relationships either. The the soulmate ones, they'll just never be a victory. That's why it'll never be easy. But this one is not going to be easy, because at the end of the day, it's a victory. But you got to get to the end to have the victory. But most people just want it victorious all the way through. But you got to get there. And now it's like. It's not going to be an easy victory, but they're focused on the diamonds and they're kidding themselves at the same time about how bright things could be. So they'll put their focus on their focused diamonds, but the relationship is going to be dull because they'll rather put their focus over there than over on overall on the whole thing, right? So being tormented, not knowing how to balance, uh-huh. This passionate opportunity because they are very passionate about you. But come on. Since you don't know how to communicate really. They going to do it and come forward. But it's just like it's not so easy for them. So they'll put their focus somewhere else. Yep. That wish fulfillment coming out is not so much. Right. So they need to get on a different road. Take this road. Right. Show the true love that they truly have. Look at it for what it is. Some of them are. Right. And they know what's really going on. A lot of them are coming up out of this heartbreak. That's just what it is. So that's what they're telling you, actually, Aries. I think fire signs communicate very well together. Maybe with others. Nah, but that's why I was like, why they not just coming straight up front? Because they just tell you straight up what it is. Um, with this, it's... Let me see. Yeah. It's not an easy victory. And they're coming from heartbreak on how things were working in the past. Definitely. How they used to work things in the past and how bright things were in the past. Some of them don't think the future can be that bright because of how things were in the past. But that's only a facade, right? So it's just definitely not an easy victory. With the Six of Wands coming out again. Reverse. Same as this damn Six of Clubs. So yeah, y'all have a lot of repeating cards, Iris. So, they have to get on this horse and go forward, bottom of the deck, saying that, okay, I'm going to have to cut this off because not you, but a lot of things in that life get on that horse. Some of them may want to cut you off just for the karma to be rendered so they can get rid of everything and then pick back up like a fresh start, start over. But, for the majority of them, it's at the bottom of the deck. That I means it's coming in where 
It's not cutting you off with you. It's not an easy victory. It's everything else in their life that they need to cut off so they can get you and them straight and have this glorious wish fulfillment. Isn't that funny? Too much, right? Because if they don't give love to you, let's flip it. These fire signs, honey. Showing up. Will they let go or hold on tight? Probably let go, right? And lose focus and out on a lot on them diamonds, honey. And then stop kidding themselves. As soon as they lose focus and out, they, they switch up quick. Hold up. I'm not talking. I understand what the hell going on. Yes, they do. I'm just not passionate about this opportunity. And now I'm being victorious. Let's see what's next. Try them. Uh-huh. I don't feel like getting on this road. It's not enough love in those cups. But guess what? They not look, looking at it for what it is, honey, because they don't understand and know that they walking straight into a heartbreak. Uh-huh. Be victorious all you want. Now, this going to be easy. Yeah, easy victories to get your heart broken. Definitely, right? Uh-huh. Collaborate with who, when, what, and what. For what? Nah, I don't think so. You're not going forward on that. The universe not going to let them or they'll notice it. These collaborations are not really going for if I step up out of this relationship, right? Then who, who, where, where am I going? I'm in pause, right? But I have a wish fulfillment and I understand I can't cut my Aries off. See how you come in though? And I understand that, yeah, that's just basically where that go. That's just where that go, Aries. Because I was going to flip it if they tried to step out, but it's not really third party energy here. Like if they have this wish fulfillment because the the basic of this is they have to start kidding themselves on how bright things could be. Then they'll be more victorious. They may lose passion. Fire sign, definitely. Because how they kidding themselves. So they're going to go around in this damn circle for a minute, right? Some of them. But at the end of the day, the good thing is they'll still be victorious, my babies. So let's see what these angel cards have to speak over your 11-11-2018 spread, my baby. What a beautiful one. I can't wait until 2019. You guys also can contact me for your personal readings. It is just like so interesting, my darling. Yep. Just want to pop on out. Yep. Bottom of the deck. Twin flames. There we are. There we are. I seen karma pop out. Then I think I seen gold. Standards. Marriage. Woo. Yes, my lovies. I love you so much, Iris. Um... I appreciate you so much. That's what I have for you on your 11-11 spread 2018. Contact me for your readings, my baby. I'll be waiting, honey. All you have to do is use the email that's in the description and the cash app and PayPal. We'll get your readings done. And I appreciate all of the subscribes, the likes, the donations, the purchases, the love and the comments. The shares, you guys are busting it down. Appreciative. I love you, my babies. Take care. Thank you so much for watching the Goddess channel. You guys have a great one. I love you lots. See you when I see you. Later.